All right, welcome to Smokey's Grand Files. I'm your boy, Journalist. And on this one, we are here to check out Mike Righteous. This is uh, I Turn Up. You guys said I'd just be one I'd enjoy. So I figured I'd give it a chance. You know, we like Mike over here. So thank you guys very much for the suggestion. Thank you for your time as well. If you could, please hit that like, subscribe. Patreon's in the description. And let's get into this one. boo doo boo 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 <laughs> GRM, 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 GRM. Serious. This is Mike Righteous, and we are letting you in personally. We're bringing you inside to the hotel. We're in Sheffield right now. Yeah, my nigga is on a mad one. That nigga got two zoots in one ear. That nigga is up. About to shut down and they, they don't look like no skinny joints neither. And he's got one in his hand. That nigga just got bear weed. Look at my nigga. And a bunch of other artists. Today, we've been filming music videos all day. We've come a long way from Margate. And we are going to hit up Sheffield. Fuck Sheffield up. Bitches, alcohol, and we We're going to get fucked up tonight, boy. No, we're not, mate. I cannot lie that I I'm definitely on camera showing narcotics that should not be shown, but I was living in a place where that was allowed. When you live in a place where it is not, why make yourself bait? Like I don't get it. I don't. Now have I done this before? Also as a younger man, sure. But I'm just like, God damn it! Don't do that. Don't do that. Like little niggas, don't do that. You do something that's a vice, keep it, keep it to yourself. Fuck showing people. People don't give a fuck. Who the fuck am I talking to? It's only me here. Mad. Underdog season. Uh. It's bad. Uh. Poor old cleaning lady gonna have to clean up that fucking fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Under no season. Uh. Season. It's back. Uh. It's back. Uh. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Guinness and Crow, I'm in the zone, the winner's home. Yeah. This is not your typical, who's in the phone? The killer's back, and with the track, I slit his throat. I'm a criminal, the critical, they call me GOAT. Yeah, I'm insane, in my brain is clinical. From when I was little, the living conditions were critical. I was skipping school, my teachers were miserable. Mad. Now they want to do a guest appearance in the dinner who and tell the kids obey the rules. But the principals, <laughs> got the same education he gave you, and he ain't paid it all. So wait, the zipper's cool, tell that prick he can kiss my boo sack. You can stick that in your political rap Stick me, you twat Alright, let's man. bury the hatchet Do I look like Jeremy Paxman? Swear I'm fed up with rapping It's very distracting If they man, acting, man, tell them it's plastics Damn, bitch, I feel like Pablo and Narcos Walk inside the label Like the owner's <laughs> level Bartos <laughs> If not the raps, what is it then? Then I'm down for whatever login and send Send You turn up in the club with a drink <laughs> I turn up with a caution and a pen <laughs> Fuck you mean? <laughs> Come to my manor with gun chatter Ah, uh, then get hit in the head with a bus hammer On the hat now, pocket five pound on oh my highness. Say your face so close to my dick in the skies now. Anything to fit the right crowd, I swear. Some of these men are my fucking fingers, bitches. Eyebrow. This has such a fucking. Oh, uh, what is those niggas that run fucking. Is it high volume? Is that their name? No. Ah, oh, fuck. It's the people that uh, Ocean Wisdom used to be signed to. I can't now remember the name of them. I can't remember that record label, but it's got such a feel of like that could be like the record label this comes off of. It's got like a early 2000s, late 90s fucking production style to it. And he's just getting really skippy on top of it. But this is not my particular 
Yeah, I'd rather listen to just Mike talk about fucking pain than this version of Mike, because this is just that, like, I'm super skippy, I'm a super rapper, and I'm just like, I know you are, my boy. I want you to say some some realer shit. You just shitting on niggas right now. Which, hey, take your laps, my nigga. Niggas be sleeping, take your laps. No problem for it. I just, from what I want from him, I'm like, I want to either hear a song that, like, this would work on the actual radio, like... Man's not playing this next to a Taylor Swift joint. I want to see, does he have a song that sounds like that that is just as good as his rap skills suggest he should be able to write one of those? And then I want to just keep hearing fucking the crazy, like, what's the one record where he's standing in his kitchen and shit? That record was crazy. I want to hear shit like that from Mike. That's kind of the, the mic I'm trying to hear is, like, can my nigga do the full scope of artistry, which is he can actually make radio music, plus he can fucking show with the best of them, or... Is he just like a really dope ass like underground MC that just deserves to be respected because he'll fucking smoke most man on the microphone? I'm just still trying to figure that out. On my camera roll, some pics of chicks will raise your eyebrows. Sometimes I'm by myself, I still surprise myself when I browse. Come and leave my eye cloud, one more thing for a sign out. Mike said, suck your mom, come and lie from the hideout. If not the rats, what is it then? Then, I'm down for whatever login and send. Send, you turn up in the club with a drink. Yeah. I turn up with a cosh and a pen. <laughs> fuck you mean? <laughs> come to my manor with gun chatter. Ah, uh, then get hit in the head with a bus hammer. Ah, uh, we get all about to your mess and tea and crepes and tea and hats and it had to be tilted back or it was war because you wore that. <laughs> what is it then? I'm down for whatever login and send. You turn up in the club with a drink. I turn up with a cosh on a pen. Fuck you mean? Come to my manor with gun chatter. Uh, then get hit in the head with a bus hammer. Uh, well, you know about tea and mess and tea and crepes and tea and hats. And it had to be tilted back or it was war because you wore that. Yeah. That sounds like some real like early 2000s West Coast rap. Like exhibiting them man with rap on this type of beat. For sure. But overall though, still a good real rap like rap record. Like out rapping most niggas that ever just wanted to rap. Like it's still really techy. It's just not particularly my style of like rap, especially from like Mike. I guess like also like I've really it's not that I'm burnt out on that shit, but it's like that's the shit I came up on. And, like, it just be so hard to, like, really find, like, that that passion to, like, be like, oh, this shit is just amazing because I'm just, like, I'm listening to so much music and I'm growing musically so much that I'm just, like, ah, like, those records don't speak to me the same way they used to. Now I look back at them, I'm just, like, ah, like, these are really good, but, like, they were good for the time. Like, they did not uh, travel into my present with me as something that is a sound that I'm just like, I think I'll forever want to hear these. I'm like, I hear these and I'm just like, ah, oh, they remind me of a time where I'm just like, ah, oh, this is what music is. And I was just like, I don't like these, like the production, like these beats sound so like cheesy and formulaic to me. But then there's like a large contingent of people that really like them. And I'm just like, now I'm the dickhead because there's a lot of people that like these beats. And I'm just like, they sound so old. Just no, they sounded old then. They sound even old now. So that's why I'm just like, I don't know. But overall, though, still a really good record. Great rapper. Fuck with Mike. You no. Know. But uh yeah, that's gonna be it for me on this one. Please let me know what you think. Please hit that like, subscribe, Patreon's in the description, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.